Critterland. Well, today I wanted to show you what our four-year-old did. Uh, so she was in our Sylvanian family's Calico Critters uh, room here. I was laying on the bed in the bedroom. This room connects to our bedroom. And, you know, she comes in here often and plays and she knows to wash her hands first and, you know, uh, be real careful and all of that. And I was like, do you want me to come in and play with you or do you want me to help you? And she's like, no, don't come in, don't come in. And then about 20, 30 minutes later, she's like, okay, come in now. So I came in and she had set up a bunch of the houses. It was hysterical. It was, it was really good too, for, especially for a four-year-old. And she was so proud of herself. And she lined up all the critters that were out and like cleaned up anything she saw that was out of place. And I was just so touched. And she was like, are you so proud of me? Are you so happy? And I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> so let me show you what she did. All right, so she was standing right here and she said, surprise. I asked her if I could videotape it and she said she didn't want to be on uh, the video. So I respect that. But she uh, cleaned all this little area up and I'll show you how she set it up. And I opened the window uh, to let a little sun in this morning. So this is how she set it up. And it's really interesting to see how a little kid thinks about furniture and, uh, you know, it's just, uh, that, that was pretty much the way it was, but I think she did pretty good. And then here she put this little staircase here with two beds like that. She said, that's a kid's room. There's another kid's room. And then here, I think this might've gotten a little messed up, but, uh, she had a, uh, bathtub over there. Okay, but let me, this is what's super fun. So here is a kid's room. She said that this whole thing right here is one house. Even though you can't get to it from there, she said they could get to it by walking around. So um, this is the kitchen she set up and I thought it was really cool. And I guess she wasn't thinking about opening the fridge here, but that's okay. And she said that, um, I was like, oh, you've got a counter and another counter. She's like, no, mom, that's a bread maker. She's like, oh, a bread maker. So, you know, that this is that interactive furniture where you can put um, a piece of bread on it and then like it chops it for you. Uh, so she thought that was like a bread maker. So that's pretty cute. I'll fix that later. And she's got the table here. And I love how she put this here, you know, um, because kids know what things are, but they don't really think about like, you know, all oh, this should be on a chair or whatever. So I, I just love that, like, um, that simplicity. And then here's the bathroom she set up. I thought that was really neat. And she, you know, kind of puts everything in, like, you know, very geometrically in the corners. This is really funny. This is her living room. So she's got the fireplace and TV turned around. How fun is that? So to her, that's realism. And she's not thinking about playability. And then here she's got the baby's room. She actually had this like that, probably so that the window could shine in on it. So that was fun. And then over here, I was like, oh, you've got two beds next to each other. And she was like, no, this is a big bed. And she's like, guess what side the mom sleeps on and guess what side the dad sleeps on. And I guessed right. The mommy goes on the pink side. So that's cool. And she said, this is the teenager's room. And then this is the little kid's room. So in our house, we have two kids that are uh, four and uh, six. And then we have a teenager. So that's kind of what she's modeling that after. And that's, and then she just kind of cleaned everything up over here. She had some people in here sleeping. She put the little um, anniversary bunnies, the triplets in there. And she had everyone else kind of hanging out around here. And then I'll show you what she did over here. And this is what was really impressive. So she cleaned up this department store. We had like shoes and clothes kind of on the floor and she just arranged everything really neatly. There's a couple shoes still out. Um, yeah, she arranged all those little hats and purses and that was really well done. This is the remand stuff we have in here and I gotta like glue this or something. It just keeps coming undone. It makes you think it's gonna stick on and then it comes right back off. And then she cleaned up the toy store and you can really see the, the kit in her, you know, like it's all just piled up over here. I think we had like this over here. She just uh, did a really good job. Very nice. 
And she cleaned up the hospital. I think the boutique was already pretty good. But yeah, so you can just see like how her mind works. I just think that's really fascinating. And then over here, this is really funny. She cleaned up the brunch bar because in playing with it, a lot of stuff just got knocked over. Like the kids do not destroy stuff on purpose. Like it just happens. But I love how she set this up. My favorite part are the croissants on the window. <laughs> that is so funny. And all the cups are stacked up. And then she's got this like right there on the pan here. It's like all stacked up. And then this is leaned up over there. And then look at the oven or the stove. There's an egg on each one. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, very cool. And then she put the furniture and stuff away that she found. She shoved everything here, like kind of close to each other, which is fine. Made sure everything was lined up. So very sweet. Just wanted to share that. All right. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.